This is Matt Russell, and welcome to the Daily Effects Forum. So, welcome to the Daily FX Forum Highlights video for 1 a.m. on November 3rd. Uh, scrolling through the forums, just a few ideas that came up. Uh, John Rivera and Tom Long both commenting on, on the Dollar Cad Pure Player uh, post the other day about you know the news releases and why didn't the market move in the expected direction. And both John and, and Tom Long here uh, getting back to, to Dollar Cad pure player in terms of telling him that you know you can't always expect the market to move in the ex in the expected direction given the news and and the way I like to explain it is is that the market is a discounting mechanism it's not a voting machine so it, it oh it, it things do not occur in a vacuum so if if it were in a vacuum then if if news is positive for a certain currency that currency should go up but what's most important is what happened prior to that what happened where are the orders before that what are people expecting and that's that's what I mean by a discounting mechanism. It, it's not it, it's not one for one. It's sort of you know it's it's all inclusive, and and you have to keep that in mind when you're trading. Uh, with that being said, the, the times when you will see uh, severe or reactions that are in the same direction as the news is, is usually when the market is surprised with a piece of news, such as you know let's say an economic number comes out way worse than expected, or even way better than expected, uh, something that's beyond the pale, be, uh, beyond what what anyone had forecasted or anyone had you know imagined, if you will. So moving forward now to some of the other areas on the thread, uh, something that I've uh, picked up on when I was scanning through the Elliott Wave thread right here, and that's actually a chart on the pound dollar. Um, and let me bring that up for you if you give me one moment here. And scrolling down, and it's a triangle pattern forming um, uh, on the uh, on the hourly chart on the pound dollar, and here it is right here. And that actually, you know, brought me to to bring up the chart on the pound dollar. So I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, in terms of uh, short term trade idea. And so uh, scanning out here, and this is the triangle um, that that was posted. And what I see here is a potential uh, for a head and shoulder pattern. Um, and it's one of the things you notice about, about the, especially the foreign exchange market, is just so incredibly efficient that a lot of times you'll see these very symmetric patterns. So this is the way I'm viewing the market right now. I don't really care about you know head and shoulder patterns or being right or pr trying to predict anything. All I can see is that you can see how th this this price movement here, and then this you have this here, which would be the head. Now, if this is going to be some sort of symmetric pattern, all I can gather is that you might have prices moving up to, to this level. And, and again, that's how simple I like to keep it. And just looking, you know, looking at this in my mind's eye, I'm not using anything technical. I'm not getting, you know, too deep into the, into, you know, into the analysis here. And I think that's where a lot of people get lost. They get too deep. They try and be too precise and they try to be right. And I don't really care about being right. All I want to do is make money. So moving forward here, what I would say in terms of like a short term trade setup with all that information again you could you could just picture like this area over here being a magnet so with that being said I'm gonna place my stop uh, beneath that level maybe the 63 uh, 25 area and maybe look for for 10 to 15 pips uh, maybe once or twice on the upside uh, up until maybe maybe the 64 25 area again this is Matt Russell thank you for listening